Yeah, he let's go. Hey, yo, what's happening, everybody? My name is Dan Tanner, and welcome to Tanner So Lit. Now, if you're an audio professional, like a sound engineer or producer, and you're looking for some in-ear monitors, this might be the video for you. Because Periodic Audio sent me three pair of their in-ear monitors to do a non-biased review. And in case you never heard of Periodic Audio, well, I invited the owner and president himself to let you know what's up with their resume. Check this out. Well, all right, good people. I'm here with the founder of Periodic Audio, Dan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, people. Man, this is the guy who made it all happen. So, Dan... Yo. Tell me what your what is your company's resume? Uh, well, we've been doing stuff like acoustics nonsense for about thirty years now. Uh, started out doing sonar for torpedo systems and fisheries research. Did ultrasound for Siemens and Medisonia, a lot of high end high high end acoustics. And then we got really freaking lazy and went into audio. Uh, which, which is a lot easier, let me tell you. Uh, so I've been doing that ever since, you know, since about the mid nineties. Uh, we've, we've done work for people like Microsoft and Mackie, uh, the new Dolby Dimension headphones that came out. We did nice. all the acoustics, we did the mechanical engineering, did massive amounts of production support. Uh, so, you know, we've done recording studio mics, uh, recording monitors, speakers, you name it. So really we've just been doing acoustics for about 25 years because we love audio, we love music. And, you know, it, it turns out it's financially more beneficial to be the guy who sells the gear than to be the guy who buys the gear Makes <laughs> in sense. most cases. So Makes you know, that's kind of what we do. We just kind of play in the background. We make cool product. And now we're making our own little product uh, kind of as a this is what we believe sound should really be kind of a thing. Man, what a statement to make. And yeah. on my channel, we let the tech do the talking. So, man, I'm going <laughs> to definitely dive in and find right. out what what's with these um materials and everything that you use in your earbuds or in ear monitors and everything man yep. so when it comes to studio speakers what companies have you worked with uh you probably heard of a company called krk i got a pair yeah yeah I, have you heard of uh event electronics really yeah i did the I, the opal for instance you know the one that won monitor of the decade things like that Ah, uh, that's me. Uh, Mackie. <laughs> a, I use a lot 624, of 624, 626, A24. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, designed like even on Mackie, a lot of the, you know, the SRM 450s and 750s are powered. The PA on a stick designed yes. the compression driver, the woofers, still manufacture those to this day. Uh, so, you know, deep, deep, deep in a, in studio. I mean, and a lot more monitors beyond that and transducers. And, you know, recording mics for Blue and Rode and, uh, you know, I did the Rode NTR1, the ribbon that Rode Microphones made, did that. So yeah, I've been doing recording stuff forever. So you, you've probably heard our gear. <laughs> yes, legendary stuff. I know I started out on Mackie monitors and I'm still yeah. using KRKs today. Yeah. So, man, it's a pleasure right. to meet you. And thank you for, you know, saying, sending me the, the, the products to go ahead and do a non-biased review on, sir. Man, I really appreciate you. You're welcome. I mean, we love to get stuff into the hands, especially of music creators and, and content creators, because you guys, I mean, if it doesn't sound right, if it doesn't sound good, people doesn't buy your product and you go out of business. So you, you sweat the details and really having pros like you listen to it and give us feedback, good or bad, is highly invaluable. So uh, we, we, we love that. So, you know, looking forward to what you think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, Cross I appreciate it. Fingers. <laughs> man me too because i'm excited with that resume bro <laughs> uh -oh, uh oh i'm in a world of hurt now <laughs> well all right dan thank you for your time and you're people welcome watching let's get to this review let's go yeah okay the first set of monitors that we're going to look at are the titaniums now the materials in here are 100 titanium and for your marble heads out there not vibranium but pretty close now let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, as far as the box, decent packaging so far. Yes, sir. Nice little pictures on the side. Dope logo. No question about it. But yo, check this out. When you flip the top up, man, it got grabs up top to tell you the frequency response of the monitors. He ain't lying. So people, no, no, no. These ain't your regular earbuds. Ah, you then inside the box, you greet it with this gold canister thing right here with the periodic logo on deck. Very nice touch. You open it up and inside, you get the 1 8 inch adapter right here. Airplane adapter, just in case you want to fly somewhere. 
And wow, a whole lot of earbud tips right here. Woo! That's absolutely lit. Also inside the box are the in-ear monitors themselves. These are the titaniums. And on the outside right there, that's the same material and the same titanium that the actual driver is made out of. Let's take a tour of the earbuds. Now, as far as the design of the earbuds or in-ear monitors, very minimalistic and simple and everything. You see the periodic logo on the back and everything. Soft touch ear tips right there. And people, you see that red on the inside? These are professional monitors. That means that that right there is the right earbud. And when it comes to the weight of these in-ear monitors, these are featherweight, more than lightweight. So, man oh man oh man. Let me try these boys on and see how they fit. Okay, I got them in my ear and everything. Very lightweight and everything. There's no active or automatic noise cancel or anything on these. These are just straight, pure monitors. Man, these are very comfortable in my ear. Very lightweight. Let me do the shake test. Stays right on point. Man, these right here are official. Let me go ahead and give it a test run with some music. Let's go. All right, everybody. Now we're about to get into the sound test of these titaniums. I'm gonna go ahead and play a couple of songs from different genres to see how these monitors react. The first song is by DJ Khaled, pop star. I love this song, let's go. Okay, got nice highs in it. Yeah, okay. I love the way the mids sound, absolutely dope. Okay, I just got through listening to the song through the titaniums. The highs, man, the highs get an A+. The highs are very present, very crisp, and perfect. The mids, the mids, ah, the mids are, <laughs> are outstanding people, trust me. Now the bass, the bass was there, it was present. But for this song right here, hmm, I'd rather have a heavier tone to it, you know what I'm saying, to go down a few hertz to go ahead and reach it. But overall sound on these titaniums, absolutely stellar for hip hop. Let's go ahead and try another genre. Okay, now I'm about to listen to a pop song by Tate McRae, You Broke Me First. Let's go. Gorgeous highs, gorgeous highs. Ooh. All right, everybody. I just got to listening to that pop song through these in-ear monitors. Outstanding. Perfect highs, perfect mids. Man, it seems like these monitors were strictly made for pop songs. No question about it. All right, let's try another genre. Okay, I'm about to listen to Hallelujah by Carrie Underwood and John Legend. Let's go. The mids and the pianos. Uh, I hear all the textures. These are some dope monitors. For shizzle. Okay, let me stop right there. Let me stop right there. These monitors are picking up the frequencies so good, it feels like the vocals are on your brain. <laughs> wow, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Okay, people, I listen to three different genres, and man, oh man, oh man, if you're in a pop, country, or anything that got a lot of highs and a lot of mids in it, but just enough bass, not too much bass, you're gonna love these titaniums. Man, oh man, oh man, absolutely outstanding. Now, if you love hip hop or R&B, these ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? You need something with some heavier bass. But for those who like the other two genres I mentioned, huh, check these out ASAP. Yeah, family, those titaniums are dope. But for the next set of monitors, I invited a special guest. He's an audiophile extraordinaire. Goes by the name of El Jefe. So enough me yapping. Huh. It's time to let El Jefe make it happen. Let's go. What's good, Team Lit? So Tana brought me in to talk to you all about the Periodic Audio Beryllium. Now, I received a bunch of items from Periodic Audio, but the Beryllium's are the ones that stood out to me the most. So the reason for that is the sound quality, just the way that they bring that fire to my ears. So one of the things I like the most about these is the fact that they scale. And by that, I mean, whether you're listening to them on your phone, if you've got like a small little DAC, or if you've got a full desktop amp setup, these are going to sound good or better based on what you're listening to them through. That's one of the things I love about them the most. So they either go from good to better. It's beautiful.
But you're wondering, do these bring that fire? Absolutely. If you're somebody who's looking for strong bass, these are going to bring that for you in spades. Sub bass, that low end rumble, sounds like 215s in the trunk. That's what they're bringing to the table with the bass, but it's not muddy and it's not all bloated. It's tight, accurate, and quick, and it hits you with great impact. So I love that. Plus, if you want to enjoy your vocalist, male, female, whatever it might be, any genre, whether it's vocalist, male, female, any of that, the mid-range is nice and smooth, nice and clean, and then the treble comes in without being overly harsh or piercing. So overall, these are 100% El Jefe approved. I recommend them. If you're in the market for an IEM at this price range, then these are something that you definitely don't want to sleep on. Now, once again, shout out to Tana for having me on. Huge shout out to Team Lit for always being welcoming and always showing love to your boy. And with that said, I'm out. Peace. Okay, okay, okay. I feel that it'll have faith. And thanks for joining the video. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And people, trust me, I listen to those Beryllians myself and they are 100% lit. Believe that. But now, it's time for us to get to the next set of IEMs. Let's go. Now the next set of NL monitors I'm about to review are the Periodic Audio Carbons. These are made of 100% carbon for different frequency range and response. Alrighty then. And then when you flip the lid, you see the charts up top. They're a little bit different than the titaniums. Also, there's a different description and different specs. All right, let's go ahead and check out the earbuds themselves. Okay, here are the Periodic Audio Carbons. Claude Hammers. I know a lot of y'all saying, man, those look like the same earbuds. Let me show you. Now the monitors with the gray strip right here, these are the titaniums because they're made from titanium. The all black, that's the carbon. So no, these aren't the same earbuds. As far as the weight on them, they're very light as well. Around the same weight as the other earbuds. Now let's go to the sound test. Let's go. Okay, I'm about to play the same three songs that I played before. Let's go ahead and start with the pop star. Let's get it. Hey. All right, all right, all right. I gotta stop it right there. Now, these carbons are perfect for hip hop and R&B. Man, real deep, heavy bass, perfect mids, and perfect highs, but with a gritty texture to them. They got a, they, they have a, a gritty grunge of, man, sort of feel to them. Man, and, and, and people, the vocals are still crisp enough, man, to where it feels like <laughs> the artist is inside your head. I'm just saying, these carbons are lit so far. Okay, let's go ahead and try pop again. All right, I'm about to check out Tate McRae again. Ooh, that bass. I hear everything in the song. I mean everything. Yeah, boy. And okay, we're about to listen to Hallelujah again by Curry Underwood and John Legend. These really grab the low mids of the vocals real good. Okay, the final verdict on these carbons, these right here are made for me because I produce a lot of hip hop, R&B, and pop. You know, stuff with real heavy bass. So if you're into music with heavy bass, these carbons are the ones you should get hands down. No question about it. The highs are perfect. The mids are perfect. The bass is deep, but still, you can hear every aspect, every instrument in a song. What? Absolutely stellar. All right, family. Man, you heard what we had to say about all three IEMs. So here's my final judgment. Man, when it comes to packaging, they get an A+. Plus. No question about it. The gold canister and all the information on the outside of the box, very nice touch. When it comes to highs, they get an A on that, no question about it. Nice crispy highs on all three products. People, when it comes to mids, outstanding mids. Second to none, honestly. And when it comes to base for all three products, I feel that all three products are made for three different types of people. And when it came to the low end performance, all three perform very well to who they're geared to. So man, periodic audio, I let the tech do the talking, so the El Jefe and people. 
they get the Dantana stamp of approval. Put a stamp on it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just go to periodicaudio.com so you can go ahead and cover a pair of these in your monitors. Well, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy and Periodic Audio a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner and Team Lit, then do that too because that's official too. All right, everybody. Get money. Get respect. And enjoy your tech. Be easy. Yeah.